This is Yes FM Stupid News. All right, he went, broke in, and made a pillow fort, and, and put himself to sleep eating a bunch of cold pizza. Yeah, he was very drunk. Obviously. Yeah, this this guy is actually Tim Allen's nephew, which is wild. The real Tim Allen. Yeah, don't you think that with Tim Allen money, he could have afforded to get pizza? But anyway, he was really intoxicated. He broke into a business. I think he kicked down the door. Yeah. And then he found... Made a pillow for it. Made a pillow for it. He was rummaging around in, in the office fridge, fridge and yeah. he found cold pizza. He said, hell yeah. Yum. So he went into his fort, not, yeah. and he put the space heater in the office next to him, got himself a cell phone charger. Yeah. Ate a bunch of the cold pizza. There's crust all about him in a halo when police find him the next morning. Yeah. Sleeping like a baby inside. <laughs> That's beautiful. A little lamb. All right. And then, you know, here's what not to do at Walmart. Don't have a silly string fight. And if you do, make sure maybe you limit it to just a couple of cans. Because a can of silly string is about three bucks. I and, hate that stuff. And these two racked up $200 worth of stolen merchandise charges because they used that much silly string yeah. in a fight against each other. And then walked out and said, I'm not paying for that. Yeah. And left. Yeah. Guess who went to jail? Well, yeah, because they were caught on security footage. Stupid. That's don't not, don't have your stupid. silly string fights at home. Yeah, but Walmart doesn't. They, uh, two, what's $200 to Walmart? Come on. Still. They could have just, just let them go. Come on. Come it was on. fun Let for everyone. Go. No. Come on. No. It's fun for everyone. You want to make sure that no one is going to go in there and, and have a silly string fight on Walmart's time. You don't screw with the Walmart. Not happening.